Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Rosana Dilella. Rosana Dilella. I'm a research assistant at uh, uh, Luigi Pigorini National Prehistoric and Ethnographic Museum in Rome. And apologize from uh, Loretta Paderni. Uh, unfortunately, uh, she won't be able to participate, and I'm going to read her contribution. Uh, the Pigorini Museum's collection comes from the 17th century museum of Athanasius Kircher, a wunderkammer in which various objects collected on the field by missionaries sent to evangelize new territories were gathered together. Luigi Pigorini, who became director of the museum in 1876, added to the core of the Kircherian collection the exotic curiosities that reached Europe after the discovery of America, which were part of the most important collection of 18th century Italy. Objects gather, gathered by diplomats, travelers, explorers, soldiers, and scholars returning from their travels were added to collection between the late 19th century and the early 20th century. Since the early stage of the Italian reunification, the National Museum of Prehistory and Ethnography acquired an important role among the scientific community because of the richness of its collection, ethnographic collections. After relocating the collection to the Rome's outskirts in the 70s, the Pigorini Museum faced a critical stage of its history, followed by a relaunch of its social mission through the renewal of the exhibition halls and the offer of services such as educational activities, communication to the public, conservation and preservation of uh, museum collections. This transformation occurred at the cost of giving up campaigns of field research and the purchase of new materials for objective economic difficulties. At present, uh, Pigorini Museum has not clear collection policies and practices. The most recent acquisitions are due to donations, uh, seizure by the Carabinieri Department for Protection and Cultural Heritage, and the preemptive rights for the artifact being exported. Therefore, um, recent acquisitions neither follow a policy of integration and enrichment of the collections, nor are the result of, uh, of co-collecting co practices with communities. The current reform of the Ministry of Cultural Heritage has placed the museum within the Polo Museale of Lazio, a, a regional museum center that manages and promotes 43 museums and cultural institutes. In conclusion, although the policies of collecting have not yet been defined, we hope that the Pigorini Museum will be thriving again with the recognition of its important role for intercultural dialogue and the enhancement of its extraordinary and unique collections. Thank you for your attention.